I want great sounding audio in my YouTube videos, but I'm not an audiophile. I want it to be simple. So I picked up the DJI mic a few months ago. I've been using it for a while, and this is my honest review. Let's start with the upsides. Here's what I love about the DJI mic. First of all, this charging case. I love that it holds everything in place and then also charges the things that need to be charged. So we have two transmitters, that's this thing right Right here it's the actual microphone you have one receiver which mine is connected to my camera right now so it comes with an adapter that you can attach the receiver to the camera through a cold shoe mount and then you have a cable that goes into the mic input but you also have these two adapters one with a lightning connector that would be for your iPhone and the other is a USB-C that you could use with your Android phone it can also go into your computer or an iPad so the case gets plugged in through the USB BC port on the back. This case charges and holds a charge so that you can put the microphones and the receiver in the case and that charges those devices. It also comes with a DJI little pocket. You also get two mini windscreens, which are so darn cute. They're like little fluff balls and they go right on the transmitter. They just click on with one little rotation and then click back off again. Number two, I already mentioned this. I love that it comes with these multiple adapters. We are creating content on so many different devices these days. I'm using a camera right now, but I do often use my iPhone, especially for creating short form vertical videos like with TikTok, for example. And the adapter slides right into the receiver. So you kind of have all of the little dongles that you need um, right there to create with whatever device you happen to be using. And what's really cool is you can keep the adapter that you use most often on the receiver and still put it into the charging case. There's a slot and grooves for each one so that you don't have to take it apart and put it back together again every time you go to use and it. And as much as I love having all of these adapters, there's one little thing when it comes to the dongles and things that I feel like they could have engineered for and just didn't, but we'll get to that in the downside section. Now, although I'm usually creating videos by myself here in my office studio, I do appreciate that it does come with the two microphones, those two transmitters, because you never know when one of them, you leave it out, you don't let it charge, and the other one is ready to go because it's been charging in the case the whole time. And one cool thing about the receiver is it has a touch screen, so you can change the settings right there without having to connect it to your computer or use an app or anything like that. And on the screen, you also see your audio levels. So you can attach that to your camera or your phone facing whichever way you want to, whether you're facing your camera, your lens, like you're like this, you're talking to your camera, or if you're shooting something else and you want to be able to see, you can just flip it around. When you're recording a video, you want to be able to visually see that your microphone is on and it's good to go. Your audio levels are good. You swipe up to access all of the different settings like your mono or stereo recording, your gain settings, which I, I adjust my gain settings in the camera, not the microphone. I hope I'm doing that right. And when I first got mine, the default setting was, I think, Greek for the language. So I went into the settings, into that globe icon, that's the languages, and switched it over to English. You can connect a regular lavalier mic to this transmitter and then put the transmitter in your pocket. I don't do that because what I have found over years of being on YouTube and having long hair is that lavalier microphones and hair, just they don't get along. I could do a whole video on this, but they're, they're not friends, it sounds like a cat fight and it's it's never good. Typically what I've been doing is using the DJI mic up here on my collar. If I have a lower cut shirt, then it's usually down here, but it's still on my collar. It has a clip, but it also has a magnet. So if you're wearing clothing that you can't clip something to, it has a really strong magnet. And you can see the microphone is right there. So I've done a few tests to see what happens when the hair just kind of like happens to be in the same vicinity and it's been okay. And I, I can't say the same for some of the other lavalier microphones that I've used. Unless I really try and get in there with it, which 
who would be doing that. Now, before I get to the downsides, let me just say, I am not an audiophile. I'm not an audio expert. I actually kind of suck at audio, to be honest with you. I just want my videos to sound as good as they possibly can while having the simplest possible setup. For me, a wireless lavalier microphone setup like this is simple. Now, if I were to use a podcasting mic, it probably sounds a heck of a lot better. And this isn't even an expensive mic, but it gets in the way. So I like the wirelessness because it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't require an extra tripod or a microphone on like a boom arm or something. And I know it's gonna work no matter how I'm positioned or if I'm turned away from the camera for some reason, or if I'm further from the camera or in another space, the microphone is not connected to the camera. It's connected to me. So it's, it's it's just simple. So now that you know I'm not an audio expert, let me tell you my opinion on the quality of the audio from the DJI mic. It's great. It's wonderful. I have no complaints. I did watch a few audio editing tutorials to make just a few adjustments. I created a preset for myself inside of Final Cut Pro so that I know if I'm using this microphone in this room, all I have to do is apply those presets to kind of just just kind of adjust the tone a little bit. It might not even be something that you notice, but here it is straight out of the DJI mic. There is nothing being done to the audio, no adjustments at all being made here. And then here's how it sounds when I do have just a little bit of tweaking. I even got a YouTube comment complimenting the sound of my audio. Gotta love those YouTube tutorials, right? Now there's a lot to love about the DJI mic, but there are just a couple of downsides. Number one, I wish this cable that you use to connect the receiver on top of the camera to the mic input on the side of your camera somehow fit into this very convenient and beautifully designed charging case. It's such a satisfying self-contained system. And then to have this one little cable just like out on its own, it's easy to misplace or forget and Yes, you can throw it into the pouch, but couldn't you have figured out a way to get it into the case or somehow like strapped to the case or something? This is, this is a hard thing to complain about, but hear me out. The adapters to attach the receiver to your camera, to your phone, whatever you're attaching it to, the USB-C and the Lightning one are so cool. They just slide right in, they're in place, great. But the piece that turns the receiver into a cold shoe mountable thing, what happened there? It's weird and awkward and even if I'm doing it right, it still feels like I'm doing it wrong. I struggled with it for way longer than I would like to admit before I broke down and went to Google. Like I said, it's kind of hard to complain about it because it's great that we have all these adapters and they come in this case. It's really clear that DJI created this for the Osmo Action 2 camera, which is, you know, DJI's camera. Secondarily designed for smartphones, probably great, but mirrorless and DSLR users, it was, it feels a little bit like an afterthought. <laughs> the only other thing I have to say about it is that I think for what it is and how well it works and what you get with it, I think the price is fair and reasonable. It's a good price for good audio. But I wish there was another option that was maybe a little bit more affordable. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I don't think it's worth the price. It absolutely is. And I've been recommending it to anybody who's asked me about microphones um, for the past several months, but it's a little bit of a hard pill to swallow for some people. Could we maybe just get a transmitter and a receiver in a dongle and call it a day? So it would be cool to have a, another option there for people. So that's my opinion on the DJI mic. I love it, I recommend it. I think you should get one if you were thinking about getting one. I put links to that down in the description below this video. It's been an absolutely perfect addition to my gear setup here in my home office with my camera and my lights and just the way that I film my videos. And if you're curious about how I have this all set up, I will link to my most recent video on this, which doesn't include the DJI mic. I'll link to it over here.